All right, so uh, we're going to change the final drive oil here on the bike. I, uh, it's been 10,000 miles, a little over 10,000 miles on it. So you have a 17, 17 millimeter wrench. And the manual says to loosen the top bolt first, which I already did. I wanted to make sure that I could do that. So the top bolt is loose, which is the filler bolt. And then this is your drain plug. Now, as you, after you loosen it, what you want to do is one, you want to be ready with some type of catch can. And hopefully we get some good gunk out of here. Oh, I dropped it in there. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. But they say to turn the wheel as you let it drain. So that looks pretty good yet. I mean, 10,000 miles and you got some good, it's, it's still pretty clear. Um, so they say to turn the wheel. So you're turning the rear gears that are in there. So we'll turn it both ways. There we go. If we go back, it pushed a little bit more out. So I'll set my can here on the ground a little bit. I'll just let it drip out of there. Yeah, that looks really good yet. Uh, so 10,000 miles on there and the oil is really clear. I don't see much debris coming out. We'll show you the bottom of the jar when it's all done. So today I'm going on a good ride, so Figure, well, 10,000 miles. We'll change it if it breaks free nice and easy. So now that we've drained most of it, I'm going to remove the top bolt. I'm trying not to drop this one in there. <laughs> so the top bolt also, I, look how clean that is compared to... I've seen some other videos where these things were black. Um, but, uh, you can see that nice the oil ring there. So we're going to set that down here. We're going to get ourselves a little bit of a cloth. We'll wipe things up and uh, be back in a minute after it stops draining. All right, I'm back. We're pretty much done dripping now. Um, you can see how still how clear it is. So I cleaned up our bolt. This was the drain plug, uh, the drain plug bolt. Uh, so I'm wiping that up here now that I got it out of the oil and. Uh, yeah, you know, I've been letting this drip here into a small plastic piece. Um, I'll show you what that looks like then. So let's set this. Let's get a clean spot here on our paper towel. We'll wipe this off one last time real quick. And we'll set, we'll set our drain plug bolt back in there. and uh, wipe everything up just in general. All right, so this is what's been dripping out of there. Uh, not this, that's the new stuff. So that's the new oil and that's the old oil. But if I rock that back and forth, it's still, you got, got some good, uh, it's still translucent in there a little bit. But this is, so here's your new Honda brand oil. And it was replaced with Honda brand oil two years and just over 10,000 miles ago. So um, I'm pretty happy with that. That looks pretty good. Uh, I put it in a jar as I drained it and we're supposed to get about four ounces. And I think we got pretty close. So now we gotta get four ounces, 4.1 ounces back in there. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snug this up by hand, okay? I'll bring the torque wrench back over once we get the torque specs out of the manual. All right, so let's go get our new oil and our filler syringe. All right, so we're back here. Um, this is my new fluid in a jar uh, from Red Lobster. <laughs> 
uh, probably something my wife got somewhere. And uh, Memphis Mike showed how to use a flavor injector from Walmart. So this has got, um, you know, 25 milliliters in it right now. Well, a little bit more than that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to push this up in there. Now we can get in there and we're going to slowly squeeze this on an angle. And we're pushing our oil right up inside. That's going nice and easy. Now we're supposed to fill until it starts to drip out of the fill hole. So it should be about 4.1 ounces. All right, so there is one. We're going to fill it up again. All right, there we go. So there we're dripping out. I'm gonna just stop. I'm gonna turn the wheel just a second here. Back and forth a little bit. I'd say that's good. And I'd bet to say that I put a little bit more in than I took out so we'll let it run it's just supposed to be level with the fill line uh, of the bolt the fill bolt so not sure exactly if I would have any issue but the oil was nice and clean as you saw when I pulled it out earlier so all right, so now that we got that, we have our new cap clean, a little bit of oil on the seal, and we're going to reach up under here, and that looks about right, so we're going to make sure we get it seated properly first. There we go. And just finger tighten that, wipe that up. There's always some that gets in there. And we'll make sure today, after our ride, double check the torque as well. But let's get our torque wrench and our 17 millimeter socket. And the manual, I'll pull you over here. So there's the, uh, here's the manual. Final drive shows you those two spots. Fill line should be up to the top or, the, well, the bottom of the fill bolt. Hypoid gear oil, SAE 80. So I have the 80 weight 90 shaft drive oil from Honda coat the new o-ring the torque is nine pound feet for the fill bolt I'll have to look up online I don't I do not see what the torque is for the lower bolt the drain plug I do think it was up oh, there it is oil change um, after the oil is completely drained, install the drain bolt with 15 pound-feet. And there's the capacity, 4.1 U.S. ounces after draining, which is 
about what we put in. Um, but unfortunately, it's also more than I think I took out. So we shall see. We'll keep an eye on everything. I haven't really had any major issues. Occasionally, see, I was getting this this spot, this ring spot here. And it doesn't necessarily feel oily, but just dirt and grime. That's So I'm going to clean the wheel up. But right here is this little, I don't know, it's not... It's like a little drain nipple. Sometimes that has some almost clear fluid on it, which maybe it is pushing some here and there. Uh, there's a breather on the top of the final drive, which I'll try to get to from behind and just check and see if there's anything coming out the breather. But that's pretty much it. So um, again, you know, there's the shaft drive oil. It's always good to have a manual, but here's the uh, pictures and things. If you did not have a manual, you can go back in the video to see that. And uh, let's see, total time is a little under half an hour, including a, uh, oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Total time's a little about half an hour, including a little ride prior, you know, and then I let it cool down, but that got the oil moving after sitting overnight. So hope to put in a good ride today with a bunch of guys and we will catch up later. I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks. Well, I'm back from my ride today. If you can't tell, I got, got some nice sun on my face. Anyway, we did about 160 uh, for a friend, um, his bachelor party ride, I guess you would call it. Um, so yeah, lots of, actually lots of sun, look at that. Um, so just checked everything looks good on the final drive oil no problems on the final drive itself and before I left I did take that one jar uh, the red lobster jar filled it to four ounces and then I poured it in the container that I used for draining and it was pretty close so I would say I had no problems with the final drive oil um, I still have some you know dirt and residue on the inside that I want to clean up real good just so I can keep an eye on everything my breather tube looks fine so all in all pretty easy job I think it was like 12 bucks for the oil and four dollars for the meat infuser the syringe thing that you saw me use so you know half an hour time what 16 bucks invested or so and um, I'm good for another 10 grand, uh, 10 grand or more uh, on hopefully the final drive without any other issues. Um, so I have my tires there here. Today I was dry road, so everything ran real good. I can probably still get some more out of my current Shinko tires, but before too long, I should put those other ones on, uh, especially as we get into the slippery fall. And I do ride most of the winter if possible. Uh, at least when the roads are dry, not icy. So, um, yeah, good day today. A little over 160, if I didn't say that already. And I'm happy with uh, the performance of the bike again. And always a pleasure just to do my own maintenance and save a few bucks. So, hope that video helps you. If you're looking to do the final drive on an 01 to 2017, pretty much the same thing. And um, if you don't have the manual, feel free to take some screenshots and you can use those torque values. Uh, check the bolts, they're fine, they didn't move, they didn't loosen, and no seepage. So I'm pretty happy, and I'm gonna go inside, get something to drink. See ya.